guilt. <laughs> Just because we've done something which society condemns as bad, you know, we all like to label things good, bad. This is good, you're a good person, this is bad, you're a bad person. So we try and put people into boxes. But really, even if you're an heroin addict, an alcoholic, a prisoner in jail, it doesn't matter what you've done. If you have a look at all of your life, and if you imagine a tree, and all the leaves in the tree as being every experience you've ever had, that is one experience. And we often get stuck in that and take our identity as being that. And you can move on from that. It's only a picture that you're stuck on and society further condemns you saying you are that and you become like living like that. I am this bad person. No, you're not. It was an experience you had and you can move on from that. So if you feel guilty about anything that you've done, then take responsibility. Take your power back. I did something wrong, so let me have a look how I can make it right. Deal with it. And there's many ways you can make amends to people which, you know, make somebody's day without ever realizing it. My daughter and her partner have a wonderful story. They parked outside of this lady's door for, you know, quite some time when they lived in the car. And they took her a bunch of flowers. And the woman was a bit taken aback, seeing them looking so healthy and gorgeous and fit and and she let them in and she said oh, well thank you so much and she, they said we were the ones that parked outside of your door and you didn't like it very much so we'd like to give you these flowers the lady was gobsmacked and she burst into tears and her son was on drugs and it was her birthday that day and she said, you will never realize how much you've made my day. So little things make a person's life worthwhile. And there's, so there's many ways you can make amends. But people like to condemn you. And I think it's out of fear. And I remember sitting in a, a very exclusive club one day and you know, these women knew my daughter was having problems, but one said, oh, my son just got into Eton. The other, oh, my daughter just got into Rodine. So I'm cringing inside. <laughs> well, I'm going to stand up for my daughter. Well, my daughter got into jail and she gets free benefits and free medical. <laughs> After lunch, I just went into the loo and cried my eyes out. Um, you know, so we condemn, but I, I think it's really judgment out of fear because we don't know any better. But the thing is not to take on that identity, to move on and through that and to realize, hey, that's just one leaf in the tree. So I can make amends. And if you really look at it, and something hasn't been your fault, then you can just let it go. Give the other person love and blessings, but you've moved on from the event. And you can do these things without the other person there. I mean, they may have died or they may not talk to you, but you can do all this work on your own. And it's amazing how when you clear things energetically for you, um, the other person gets it and I myself did carry judgment because I felt so oh, oh my anger was turned inward I felt so ashamed and 
when I really looked at it, and it's it's just society. And so my daughter lives the most amazing life now. She's absolutely fantastic and put all of her life together. And I'm so proud of her. So things can move on and change, you know. We're not stuck in condemning somebody for a mistake that they've made. And it may be, you know, quite a few <laughs> mistakes. But I myself take responsibility because we did live in a very unhealthy patterns until, you know, I learned healthy patterns, how to take care of myself. And, you know, so any situation can be moved on from. So let's give ourselves a break. And I think the person most that beats um, ourselves up is us. <laughs> you know, because especially if you've got a perfect image and it's very hard to maintain that. So we have this internal voice which takes over from our mother saying, you have to do this, you have to do that, you're bad or, you know. So let's give ourselves a break and realize that guilt, which many of us get stuck on, we can just let it go and be, you know, start giving back. And that makes amends for everything. I, I tend to think out of a situation that was so traumatic for all of us, you know, I wrote a book called Wake Up Mom, which is all about drugs and, you know, uh, so many parents. It, it just took over our life for quite a few years. But you can move on from that. And, wow, um, be an inspiration to others who are in a dark place, you know, because it's only temporary. So I love that image of leaves on the tree. And looking back now, I wouldn't have changed that because that took me to the depths of emotions that I didn't even know I had. And I said to my daughter, and she said, no, I wouldn't have changed it either. So society, we condemn, condemn that whole experience as being bad. But both of us have grown and shifted and have such an intense love for each other because of that experience. And along the way in the journey, we met amazing people. And it just goes to show you labels, forget them. So give yourself a break and just see the image of the big tree and just little leaves floating by and they may have ripened and fallen off the tree so you know then that's gone you remember the experience but you can let go of the pain around the experience and then it becomes a treasure chest a treasure chest of memories and you are much wealthier for that experience because you've grown stronger. Your resistance is, is, you're just a much stronger person from that. And coming through these challenges, you can look back and you know you will really be able to get out of any experience because you've been to hell and back. So you'll be okay, you know you're okay, you're safe, you can do it and, you know, bounce back like Bozo the Clown. So just wave goodbye to guilt and I think in my book, Letting Go and Loving Life, I said, you know, throw all your guilt down the toilet and I had a um, letter from a girl, she was from a tribe in New Zealand and the tribe says, why are you so happy? She found my book in a toilet. And she says, well, Carmel said, throw all your problems down the toilet. And so then all the tribe members, you know, 
um, started, they all started talking about it and started throwing all their problems away too. So let them all go, you know, and just take it as a, an experience and really give yourself a pat in the back for coming through it. I mean, it takes many people under forever and this goes on for generations because many people come to me and they're really stuck in it. So what I'm saying is we don't have to be stuck in guilt and let it go and give yourself a big hug, you know, give yourself a big hug. You've come through it and survived and are actually a lot closer for it. So I would thank my daughter. She's made me a lot more real. <laughs> and... Um, so there we go. Let it go. Just throw it away like leaf on the tree.